Hi guys, I'm the Lag Dr. Clay Ballard, and today we're going to talk about some physics in the golf swing. We're going to talk about how you get speed, but don't worry, you're not going to need to memorize any terms, you're not going to need to know any math. It's going to be very simple stuff, and it will probably reshape the way you think about how to get speed in the golf swing. So the very first thing I want to talk about here, we have something called a double pendulum. And first we'll just use actually a single pendulum. So here is a, a one hinge. So the pendulum here is at the top and this is going to swing back and forth much like you'd see in a grandfather clock. So I'm sure all of you have seen something very, very similar to this. Now this piece of metal here also has a hinge in the middle. And here in a second, um, the person who made this video on YouTube, thanks to them for the, making this great video and allowing me to use this for this video or for my golf instruction but now he's taken away and he's made this second hinge active and this would be what's called a double pendulum now if you just watch this for a minute you can see that it's capable of a lot more speed at the tip of the uh, the piece of metal now than it was before because it's gaining some angular momentum it's gaining you know force different forces that are acting on it but allowing the tip of that to accelerate at much faster speeds at times than it was when it just had the single pendulum now I want to pay have you pay particular attention to uh, let's see here I think it is right around actually it's a little bit before this just one second let me find this again I want to show one particular piece which is works almost exactly the same as the golf swing so in the golf swing, I want you to imagine this is our downswing, and here's the left arm, here is the wrist of the left arm, and then here is the club shaft. Right? So in your downswing, what's going to be happening is you're going to be creating lag. This is the club lagging behind, and then as you near impact, watch what happens. That club is allowed to accelerate. You notice how the, the, it almost had like a blip in the photography there? That's because the, the end piece was accelerating so fast as this slowed down and it whipped through that it actually one frame it jumped all the way up to there so that's a great way to produce speed with this double pendulum just like the left arm works in the golf swing so let's go ahead and watch it a few more frames actually I'll watch that that piece just at full speed just the way that the left arm works in the golf swing there you go so you've seen it at full speed now the cool thing about the golf swing even cooler than this is that the, the right arm is actually a triple pendulum so let me bring that up and show you what I'm talking about with that all right, so first let's watch it in slow motion here and let's look at this and let's pretend this is your right arm in the downswing. It's actually very, very similar to how the right arm would work. Here's the upper part of the right arm or your humerus. Here is your, uh, would be your radius and your ulna. Here's your elbow joint. This would be your wrist joints in the right arm. And here would be the golf club shaft. So what's happening as you're creating these levers is that's kind of saving, conserving this energy. And then as you get to the bottom of the swing, that's all going to whip through. And that's actually going to create some more speed even than the double pendulum. When you create more levers, you create more potential speed. And if you use the correct mechanics in the golf swing, you can also take advantage of the speed and get that real whipping action at the bottom of your swing. So we go ahead and watch that again. There's the down swing. Man, that orange piece really whips through there. And we'll watch it once at full speed. Let me get rid of these lines here. Yeah, so a lot of speed there, and you can see how this could create a very effortless way to make power on the golf swing. So now let's take a look at a real swing from a professional golfer and talk about both of these motions and see it in action, and it'll just give you a great perspective on what we've been talking about. Okay, so here we are with the most famous golfer in the world, Tiger Woods, and at first let's just pay attention to this left arm in the downswing. So we're going to be talking about the double pendulum here. The first pendulum is in the shoulder, the second is in the wrist. That would be like the first video that I showed there. You're going to notice how this is nice and straight. The club is creating this angle, and as he comes through impact, he loses this angle. Bam, and that releases to create club head speed, just like we saw in the, in the first one. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the right arm and what would be the triple pendulum. So let's pause kind of halfway down into the downswing. Very, very similar to what we saw in that last video. Here's the first pendulum. Here's the second pendulum in the elbow, third pendulum in the wrist, and this is creating a lot of lag, a lot of speed, potential speed here, and you're going to see the same thing as he's coming through. He's releasing that as he's coming through impact, and just after impact is completely straight here. So he's maximizing his power, not with just with brute physical force, but cr creating angular momentum using levers. The more levers you can create, the faster the potential speed, and getting speed the easy way, which we all can do with the correct mechanics. 
So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helped bring a new perspective to why lag is so important and why I talk about lag so much and how to create that easy power. And as a bonus for you guys, I'm going to provide a preview to the lag builder drill video. That's going to walk you through a step-by-step -step process and the easiest way we're going to start really small working on lag and then gradually building that going from there. Uh, if you want to see the rest of that video and get your free rotary swing membership, click the link that pops up in the bottom of your screen. You're going to be able to sign up for your free membership, see that full video, plus a lot of other really cool instruction. And if you're joining us on a mobile device, you're going to need to go down to the description to get a link to that video. As always, click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Post your comments. I'll try to answer all your questions. And remember to subscribe so new videos that we have coming out, you'll be notified and you'll get to watch those too. I uh, really enjoyed talking with you guys today. Have a great year this year, and I hope you really improve your golf game. I'll see you soon. To get lag, we need to keep these, keep these wrists really loose and soft and let this club hinge back. Now, if I get really tight and I try to you know, hold this angle, what that's going to do is that's going to contract my wrist flexors. When I contract my wrist flexors, you can see it extends that angle of lag and you're going to lose that angle. So one of the biggest keys is to make sure you keep your wrists nice and loose and soft. As you swing down, the heavy weight of the club head is naturally going to want to lag behind. So by this point, we understand